What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as America. In the previous part, we set out to finally make Petra. And that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be happening pretty soon. We cut down a forest here and one I believe there. And that gives us a whole lot of production which will speed this up tremendously. We've also settled the new city of Baltimore up in the north. Uh, which is looking really nice and by doing that we've also excluded a Spanish settler from reaching our territory. He was running around here, clearly planning on settling here, but uh, we did that ourselves instead. So I'm actually gonna buy another builder here so that we may get access to the luxury resources available, the, uh, the mercury and the gypsum. And with that said, let's keep going. We're also making a campus in San Francisco a library in Charleston and soon we're gonna try to get our hands on this scientist actually in two turns we will get this guy and we're gonna use him to get a free uh, university and library in San Francisco uh, and then also every university that we have is going to give a science bonus permanently because I am very excited to see more of the different technological developments that you can make so far the I've only is to attack a city siege of a city is only done as a last resort all right so so far I've only won uh, one game and I played a all right let's do that a uh, religious victory which if you look here you'll see the religious victory as Japan and really the only goal there is to convert everybody else to your religion and if you do that, you win the game. Uh, which was a lot of fun. I very much enjoyed playing that game, but it was a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. So I'd like to see a different take on the scientific victory. Uh, another option would be, let's see. We're a leader in culture almost, although Greece is beating us there. Uh, domination's just not gonna happen. And to be honest, I wasn't really interested in immediately going down that route, so... We're just gonna take a new look, or a look at the new... Uh, scientific victory, so I was just thinking, we need to build two universities to get this. Uh, we're gonna do that pretty soon, so we will have that boost. The Enlightenment Civic is... Pretty far, but we can get there soon. So that's another boost that we will actually get. Roar Valley, Factories... Or ballistics, let's see. Oh, this is exciting, alright. So if we get ballistics, we're actually gonna get access to our first modern technology. I'm not in a renaissance era, what are you talking about? Game? I mean, I have two there, but that doesn't really count, but okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with ballistics because I'm not gonna make any forts. I don't like them. Uh, they're basically the same as forts in Civilization V, where it's just a tile improvement that will protect your character uh, or any unit that's actually standing in it. Um, which I guess can be useful if you are at war with someone and your borders are close to one another. You can make a fort, make sure you can um, defend yourself properly there. But in our situation, that's just not gonna be very interesting. An embassy in our capital. Okay. It's knocked over my water. Uh, sure. I would love that. So, we have an embassy with him now. I think that makes us better friends. I mean, we're not the best of friends. That's a good deal. I'll do that. We are not the best of friends. But uh, this might help a bit. Greece trading with Spain. Spain switched to oligarchy. All right. Here we go. This is the scientist I was talking about. All right, let's get the gypsum and recruit the scientist. And then. Yeah, this guy can go south again, I guess. There's nothing here, really. 
Looks like Philip finally gave up and he's leaving the area. All right, so let's get some more uh, mercury. You, I just explore. Sure, you'll you'll figure out what to do. Who made peace with who? Loventus made peace with Pericles. All right. I didn't even know they were at war. But that's good to know. So let's get this guy over to San Francisco, where we can use him next turn. Also, four turns. Let's get the hype going. Finally, we can get to see Petra. We can already see it taking shape, and it looks beautiful. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I can actually look at the wonders and individual tiles a whole lot better in Civilization VI as opposed to Civ V. Uh, your emerging guilds have plans that require a large influx of gold. Perhaps we can find a way to let them take out a loan. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession, so that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. So, all right, hold on. How did we... Yeah, I still stand by these. Extra culture and science, that one isn't that amazing. We could actually uh, get a different one. Let's see. One culture for every district that we make. That could be a good one. I don't really care about the industrial zone one. Yeah, I think I'll just go with this for now. And then we also can actually get rid of uh, veterancy and limes. Don't need those anymore. Still like the amenity one. That one's pretty sweet. Let's reduce our maintenance. That will allow us to get a bit more money. And then... None of these really seem all that attractive, if I'm being honest. If anything, I would actually like to switch governments, but we're still earning the influence point bonus. We're about to get one more percent. I'd like to get a few more. But yeah, we could switch to... We're a monarchy right now. That one's really good. Uh, Merchant Republic would be a good alternative, but... Don't want to switch right away. Defensive buildings... I don't know. None of these are that good. I guess I'll just go with... Um, should I just stick with the defensive buildings once so we can get walls cheaper? I'll, I'll just do that. I'll just do that for now. Alright, so you took care of that. Let's get some of this wheat going as well. Alright, get you over to San Francisco's campus. So we could make a library actually pretty quickly as well, but we don't need to do that. Uh, instead, I really think we should get a second district. Alright, it's plus two. Alright, Charleston, yeah, get that university going because that's going to be great for science. New York at this point would also really benefit from a campus. It would take a little while. Let's get the medieval walls, actually. I know their housing isn't that good. And this will fix that so they can grow. Over here, so we're going to get that library from the great scientist so we can do something else. Uh, we could just go with an industrial zone. Yeah. I think it gets bonuses because of the nearby mines. We're not going to get any more. So these tiles probably would be the best. Or this one right here. But if we get one here, then we can get a theater district there and get the bonus from these two districts and the city center near it. So I'm going to go with this tile. Boom. And that'll make uh, production a bit better there. Baltimore is going to have another mine. Or I guess quarry. I support that. That's pretty good. Lots of production. Alright, so you can keep going that way. And alright, Petran three turns. Alright, I'm mostly excited to just use that scientist. We've just met Vilnius. They want me to trigger a Eureka for printing. 
That's gonna happen in one turn, actually, so that's pretty good. Gray Lighthouse. Alright, so they are actually still going after some of the older wonders. But apparently the AI is not completely bonkers for wonders the way they were in Civ 5. Or maybe that's just because we're on a lower difficulty. But, you know, if, if you've ever played Deity uh, in Civ 5, you will know that getting wonders in the early game is just impossible. Alright, so let me just get a farm here. And then you can get a... I feel like we should actually get a farm here as well. Lots of production in Baltimore, but the uh, food situation could be a bit better. Alright, here we go. Newton, work your magic. Boom. So we get that boost. Vilnius will instantly like me. Giving me plus two culture. We're already suzerain of four different city-states, so we're gonna try to get another one. Probably Vilnius, I'm thinking. Uh, because we're, well, it'll take a while before we get more envoys. There's probably a wonder out there that boosts that as well. Although I haven't seen it yet. In fact, I haven't really seen much of the late game stuff. Sewers. Those are pretty good as well. More housing. Oxford University. That's actually going to be really great. If we could make this in Washington, I mean, that would give us a massive boost in science. We're already definitely leader in science. Uh, we've got a pretty comfortable lead, but we could make it even bigger. Alright, so New York needs housing. We know that. We're working on it. Farm in Baltimore. Actually, that's still not that good. Uh, but at least it's slightly workable now. Alright, Petra, let's do this. I am ready. Petra me up. Man, look at that thing. And... Come on. I want to see Petra it. Here we go. It's a brilliant display of man's art history in turning barren rock into majestic wonder. Man, just look at that thing. That's great. So that gives us two food, two gold, and one production on all desert tiles. So let's look at the city now. I mean, look at this. That's just wonderful. That includes the tile that it's built on. I'm pretty sure... No, this is grassland. So it actually is these tiles, but still, I mean, that's pretty good. I like it, and I'd say it's worth it. Alright, so make some walls. Now we can finally start doing some of the stuff that you usually do in these cities. Alright, making that commercial hub. We're, earn we're actually earning too much gold. And the funny thing is, we're actually going to get Charles Darwin as well. And it's going to give us 500 science for each a natural wonder tile here. Or adjacent. Oh god, okay. That's kind of cool. But I don't recall. I mean, obviously we do have the Grey Barrier Reef. Which I think is not impassable. So we could sit here, use it, get 500, or I mean 1,000 signs. That's pretty good. Uh, but there must be another one that I may have forgotten about. I don't really remember if we found other natural wonders. Yeah, I don't think so, actually. All right. Well, at least now we know that if we get that guy, we will. We're gonna get a thousand science, which is real good. I mean, that is well over 10 terms uh, worth of science. 
So you're not gonna see me complaining there. Dude, look at these guys. This is actually a new thing. It's religious combat where missionaries and apostles will fight each other and actually shoot lightning bolts at each other. And that's it's kind of weird, but also pretty cool. All right. Sure, I'll be friends with Congo and Pericles. Movemba. Dude, what's up with this Greek fleet sitting at my borders? I just noticed that. Maybe I should try and get an embassy with him as well if I even can. Actually, I think diplomatic service will allow that. Yeah, allows resident embassies. Those are good. Uh, then we gotta get the enlightenment though. Because somebody wanted me to, I believe. Or what was it with the enlightenment? I don't remember. Religious tourism is halved versus your civilization. I don't know if that's... I don't know. A hundred signs from campus district buildings. That's amazing. We need that. I'm pretty sure that's not the reason I wanted this in the first place, but still, that's really good. Because we have, I believe, three different campuses now. We'll probably even get more. Uh, we haven't made one here yet. I'm pretty sure I will want to, though. I mean, we're not going to get any ama amazing bonuses to it here. But just making it and getting a university and a library and all that stuff, that's going to be great. And we got off to a bit of a shaky start. I didn't even realize it because I haven't played this game enough, but... After getting a little bit more practice in, I do know that... Alright, Charleston needs more housing. Uh, I do know that this was not the best start to a game, but, you know, I'm still learning and all that, but... Um, it's starting to really shape into something a bit better here. At least I am happy that I made six cities, which in Civilization V I would absolutely never do. Uh, for some reason, I would always end up making three cities and then just being content and not doing anything else. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna get this guy because we have another university on the way as well. Other people are really... Oh, this is a great one, though. Plus one economic policy slot in any government. We are going to get this engineer. But again, this guy isn't really that good. He just gives you two sets of walls. So, if we do get him... We might want to save this guy up. Actually, are we using the... No, we're not using a policy to get more... Engineer points. So we're getting those from the industrial zones that we've built. We can make a shipyard, but that really isn't that good. Right now, it would give a, a bit more production. That's nice, but it's mostly for uh, if you're trying. All right, see that would be pretty all right. It's mostly if you're trying to get uh, a bigger fleet or a better fleet. All right, so we're gonna make a campus right there. Get a sweet boost over in Baltimore. See, we probably, yeah, we don't have fresh water, so housing will be an issue pretty early on. So I'd say get a granary uh, for our first project. I mean, we could make an aqueduct as well later on. Oh, we don't. Okay, never mind. We apparently have zero access to fresh water here because of the lack of any river. Same as New York, actually. That's another reason why they're having so much issues with the housing there. Fresh water is more important than ever in this game. That's clear. I hope that later on there's a way for us to purify the water from the ocean. I mean, that should be a thing with your... Oh, that's the Eiffel Tower already. Oh my god. Yeah, we're getting there. Mars. Mars reactor. Hydroponics. Operation Ivy allows the creation of thermonuclear devices 
Oh god, this are gonna be sick. Uranium. Rocketry. I mean, we're still a little far away from this, but the more science we start, you know, getting... Especially once we get the Oxford University. It's gonna be pretty crazy. My troops are... Well, I'm not even on your borders, man. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron saint of ballistics yet? All right. Uh, let's see. Where is what? I have no idea what this guy's talking about. I have exactly zero units on his borders. He's not talking about the traitor, is he? That'd be weird. Yeah, no. Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know what he's talking about. All right. So for Boston. We could make a harbor here, and that would be a lot better. Yeah, it would give me plus one to remove the fish. So that's not good. All right, so I just bought a tile for absolutely nothing. All right, never mind. All right, so we're going to get printing. If we could get the Forbidden City, that would be amazing, although I very much doubt it. In Washington, we just made our commercial hub, so I'm going to grab a market. They're still suggesting the Great Library, but again, that's just not that good. All it would really give me... Well, I mean, the science and the Great Scientist point and the Great Works of Writing, that's pretty nice. But at the same time, the biggest boost that you get from this wonder isn't really relevant for us anymore, so I'm not going to get it. I'm going to go to the market. Extra money, extra great merchant points, sounds great to me. Because again, I would actually love to get this merchant... I mean, it's going to require a lot of points to get him. But if we manage to save up a few more per turn, I might be able to just buy him later with either faith or cash. Uh, we're going to get the engineer again, but, you know, I don't want him. Because this guy kind of sucks. Yeah. All right. Admiral, apparently we're starting to get an Admiral as well, which I also never wanted. We have not been in the encampment, so we're not going to get a General. But then again, I don't care about him. All right, so in Boston, we really ought to make some type of... Plus two. Plus two as well. Plus one. All right, so that one isn't really that good. But we haven't made a single district here yet. I'm going to make a monument just because I want more culture. It's a small boost, but it's all right. So apparently I did a mission for Vilnius. Don't know what it could have been. Someone wants me to make a commercial hub. Are you serious? I just did that. Construct a campus. Trigger an inspiration for Scorched Earth. It's probably... I feel like that wouldn't actually fit in here. It's got to be a civic. Scorched Earth. Build two field cannons. Can I actually make those, though? Yes, I can. All right, so I can just make two of those, and then it'll trigger that. Might be worth it, actually. And they want me to do the same. All right, so that means it's definitely worth it. You're now able to create and maintain more trade routes than before. And my roads have been upgraded because we reached uh, the new era. So we can now have four trait routes. We're getting eight influence points. I might switch once we get to 10. 10% well, seems pretty good. At the same time, we are getting extra housing from the walls. And if we lose housing now, that could be a pretty expensive mistake. I think this button will unlock theocracy, but I'm not sure that I care enough to do that. It's pretty expensive. So I think I'm just going to stay away. Actually, we are making a campus here. So that'll take care of one of these quests. I don't remember. Was it Hattush Hattusa? Nope. Yep, Zanzibar. Uh, so we might want to make a hub in... Economic hub in Boston. Which will trigger another one of these. And then if we make two field cannons, we get all of these quests uh, in one fell swoop. What are you talking about? Move the troops on the border has been broken. I see no troops on the border. I don't understand it. What? 
I honestly just don't know. Do I have like a... Not there. No, I don't get it. I don't... Maybe it's a bug or something. I don't know. San Francisco needs housing. All right. Probably New York again. Baltimore. Okay. Well, we're working on a granary and that'll do just that. We've met Preslov. They want me to get a merchant. Which uh, I will. Or wait, no. The merchant's gonna be tricky. Oh, we're getting a lot of points now because of the market I made. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. So, theater square plus one. I mean, we could make an encampment here, but I don't really care enough for that. I would much rather have another theater square. Let's get a trader before we do anything else, though. Uh, Alright, so that market actually is going to give us more great merchant points. So, if we keep saving up our faith and our cash, we should be able to steal that great merchant away from Greece. Or Spain. Yeah, it's going to be Spain. Because this guy actually wants, I mean, a whole policy slot. I mean, that's really good. Also, it would give make a Preslav give me... Oh, wait. Nope, not... Spain's not here. Preslav's at war with Vilnius. Because of Congo being at war with what gunpowder did Congo. For war, the printing press has done for the mind. All right, so In we got printing. There are two kinds of problems: small ones and large ones. The small ones will go away by themselves, and the large ones you will not be able to do anything about. All right, so this gives us uh, spies and embassies. Several reasons to declare war as well. Uh, so we can actually get this policy now to improve production of our spies, but I don't think we really need to do that straight away. Uh, we are going to get a spy, though, just so we can see how that works. And let's see, Enlightenment Civic. Oh, that's why we needed it. Now I get it. Alright, so let's grab this one. And then afterwards, we'll get the um, Scientific Theory one. Yes, yeah, so let's get the ability to make banks. That sounds really good. What is this? Baltimore needs more food. Okay, they're already out of food. Well then, why would you work that? I know it's a better tile, but if they're not getting food... I mean, that's not great, you know? <laughs> so the, the city AI, like the governor, is still kind of stupid in that way. Uh, alright. Let's just get this market. Because then we're gonna be, uh... Just about equal with Grace. What? I have not interacted with this guy in a billion years, but he's angry at me. Grease built a what? I don't want this engineer. I hope we can sell him, actually. If there's an option to train him with another Civ, I absolutely will do that. Grants one promotion level and 50% combat experience to a military naval unit. Eh. Don't care about that either, if I'm being honest. Alright, so Boston. Commercial hub. See, we make that there. It's not that bad, but production here still isn't that great. And they're going to run into a housing problem, I'm sure. Yeah, they will. Let's make the walls before we do anything else. And let's see. Your builders can now make colossal head improvements. That, that button is kind of weird, honestly. Uh, when you enter a new era, earn one random inspiration from that era. So I guess we'll go with Vilnius then. Because that bonus is actually pretty good. And also, the extra culture is definitely not bad. Especially once we get more of these districts around. Which uh, we will. All right, come on, market. We can do this. I'm earning so much cash right now. This is great. Actually, I could just buy those field cannons. I probably don't even have to make them. Greece now reached the industrial era. Uh, all right. So maybe they're not that far behind. Hmm. 
No, they are. They're ten technologies behind. So I guess they're sort of just picking and choosing whatever seems best. We can now make a Gurdwara because I've been converted by, I'm guessing, Japan. Actually, it was Norway. Yeah, we gotta be real careful there because if they manage to convert everybody, which I doubt, but if they will uh, do that, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble because then they win the game. Oh, that's really expensive. Oh my god. I'm not gonna buy that. Okay, how much does it... It'll take me 11 turns to make. Alright, we're gonna actually start with the spy though. No longer since we're in Lisbon. Alright, we'll fix that soon enough. As soon as we get our next um, envoys, we will we will fix that little mistake. Oh my! What Greece? What are you doing? He's here to steal my land. All right, just to be on the safe side, though, I'm gonna buy these tiles away from him, including the mountain, actually, just because I want to be a jerk. If I can, that is, I can buy this one and that one. I know that much, but. I do not want him stealing any of my workable land. If you owe the bank one hundred dollars, that's your problem. If you owe the bank one hundred million dollars, that's the bank's problem. That is correct. All right, so we can now make banks, which is pretty damn sweet. We can trade with. Let's see, Olympia would be a bit of culture. Toledo would give me the most amount of cash. Lisbon's even better. Uh, is there a city state that wants to trade? Probably not anymore. I feel like they care about this a lot less as the game goes on. Yeah, they don't care anymore. Alright, so we could just trade with Lisbon though and get a bunch of extra cash. Yeah, let's do that. New York again? Are you gonna tell me about New York? Yep, it's New York again. Stupid New York. I hate you. You are a mistake. All right, so the Enlightenment Civic is two turns away, so we can actually go after this now because it's going to boost uh, two turns in anyway. In Charleston, we can actually make a bank. For some reason, again, they really want me to make another district. Uh, but I'm going to go with a bank first of all because, again, I really want this merchant. And we are about to get into the lead. Let's grab this bank before we do anything else. Just, you know, again, so we can get that merchant. And, alright, that looks good. Alright, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next part, we're going to finish, hopefully, the campus and the industrial zone in San Francisco. And, uh, we'll focus on, hopefully, making the Oxford University. That's going to be really good. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to see if that's attainable at all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.